The Cooler Master Neptune 280L continues a happy trend that we've seen developing recently. It takes the status quo, that is radiators designed for 120 millimeter fans and amps it up a notch. It uses two 140 millimeter Cooler Master jet flow fans to cover the massive surface area of its 280 millimeter long radiator. Speaking of status quo, instead of rebranding a design from Asatec or Coolit, Cooler Master uses their own pump and ultra ultra-fine micro-channel water block design giving them full control over the performance and quality of these components. But does it translate into the real world? I guess we'll find out. With its factory tuning and data center DNA, an Intel 730 series SSD is an amazing choice for gamers and performance enthusiasts. So I'm gonna start this off with a couple of things that I actually don't really like about this. Their jet flow fans have great specs, but, and this goes for all liquid cooling manufacturers, why do they have rounded frames? See this gap? See this gap right here? We did a test on another liquid cooler that uses pressure optimized round frame fans where we use duct tape to cover the gaps and guess what? We got a couple degrees lower temperatures for our effort because duct tape for sealing gaps to achieve optimal airflow, please. No gaps, please Cooler Master and everyone else for that matter, square frame fans for radiators. That is Linus Law number 347. Anyway. There's another one. Use of an all aluminum radiator is something that hardcore liquid cooling purists might not like, but the system is completely sealed and uses extra thick FEP tubing, 3 8 inch tubing by the way, to prevent the slow evaporation that can occur with porous tubing. So, since you'll never open it and there's an appropriate anti-corrosive coolant inside, it won't be a problem because the metals aren't actually in contact with each other. While it isn't a problem, however, it does mean that some of the performance of the system is left on the table compared to if it had the surface area it does and used a copper and brass design like Cooler Master's own Glacier 240L, which performs similarly and also happens to be fully expandable. I apologize in advance for not having it in our performance charts though, I stole it from Luke's testing stable because I wanted it for my liquid cooling video card test bench some time ago. Anyway, about the aluminum rad, I'll say this though, at least Cooler Master doesn't hide it. I couldn't find the radiator material of the H110 anywhere in Corsair's official literature and had to go hunting to see what they were using. Installing the 280L in my standard case, the C70, was actually a little bit tricky. The fill port sticks out on the bottom if you don't put the fans on the bottom, and that makes it so that you're probably going to hit your 8-pin power. We actually split that into a 4-pin and allowed it to dodge the fill port, which helped a lot. But then again, in their recommended configuration, with the fans on the bottom, not the fans on the top like we do, it, it fits a lot better. We also had problems with the radiator hitting other different parts of the case. But again, if you put the fans on the bottom like they recommend, you don't have that problem. Although we do prefer putting it on top. We do this with every single radiator that comes in here. And we find that it standardizes the whole process. In terms of performance, we found that the cooler performs within margin of error of an H110, and considering the, the, the margin of error that comes with our thermal test bench as we don't have a thermally controlled room, it's fairly realistic as these radiators are quite similar. So in conclusion, if you're looking for a liquid cooling unit that's got good looks with its white LED lighting FX, comes with a fantastic five-year warranty and features compatibility for both 140 millimeter and 120 millimeter fans, although the 120 millimeter fans will seal even less against the radiator, then the Neptun 280L is a solid choice compared to the more traditional dual 120 millimeter radiator designs on the market. Just make sure that your case has room for it. Guys, like this video if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it, leave a comment for us in the Linus Tech Tips forum which is linked in the video description to let us know if you, you know, have something to say about this product or something to say about our methods of making videos, whether that's a positive or a negative thing. We're always open to, you know, helpful suggestions or even unhelpful suggestions like, Linus, you should um, really wear more clown wigs in your videos. 
I mean, like, we're open to them, but that doesn't mean we're actually going to, like, follow them. Anyway, also linked in the video description is the Support Us link, where you can buy a t-shirt, or you can send us a monthly contribution to help us keep making videos, or you can even just change your Amazon link so that every time you buy random junk on Amazon, we get a kickback, and we appreciate that too. As always, guys, thanks for watching this video, and don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos. And just in case you missed it before, yes, that is the difference in size between dual 140 mil and dual 120 mil. It doesn't sound like that much. It sounds like 20 mil, which could be volume, 20 milliliters.